Hello all and welcome to Kevin Hutchinson's Kolb's Learning Cycle Reflect Lesson. What we've got here is obviously the coverage of what actually Kolb's Learning Cycle actually looks like and what we're going to do today is just go through briefly at the petals level uh, the information required for Kolb's. If you feel that you need to go deeper into Kolb's there will be further information given on the Moodle page. Okay, so what we have is basically Kolb's 1984 proposed four-stage experimental learning cycle by which people understand their experiences and as a result modify their behaviour. Now obviously there's different takes on this if you go and talk to different people and go to different conferences but my take on this is we have the four main areas as you can see. Okay, so we have... Uh, concrete experience uh, then we have the reflector then we have the abstract and then we have the active these are all the four key parts of Kolb's learning cycle so the first point we're going to look at is concrete Concrete experience is about experience or immersing yourself in a task. This is normally the first stage of which a person simply carries out their task. Next we're going to look at observation. Observation itself is a reflection. Um, it's about stepping back from the task and viewing it from a distance. Uh, this gives you good experience, your values and your attitude and your beliefs can influence what you think at this stage. This is the stage of thinking. Next we have the abstract. This is about the involving the stages of interpreting the events that are going to be carried out with yourselves and making sense of them. This stage is also classed as the planning stage that you will be doing. Okay, the next stage is active. Active experimental area is about enabling you to take the new learning and predict what is going to happen next. What action should be taken to refine the way that the task has happened and redoing as required. So the actual process of the learning is quite detailed and everybody is saying can have their own take on this but for me the routine that you go through on this process can vary you can start at either point but providing you actually go round each point gives you Kolb's learning cycle it's important also to think that there is no limits to the number of cycles that you continue around here it is a constant learning and reflection is key. So what we're going to do is these in greater detail really. Concrete experience can be broken down into different areas you can see. Laboratories, observation, text reading, uh, simulation games, field work, film, videos, reading, problem sets, examples. Other areas you may think can fit under concrete. Please think about these and bring these to the next lesson. Reflective observations. These are logs, journals, discussions, brainstorms, thought questioning, theoretical questionings, email lists, online discussion, forums, example. Um, you need to bring another example you can think of to the lesson. Next is to think about the concrete experience and the reflective observation together. If we put these two together, we can think about diverge or diverger. The people that get involved between these two are looking at the two separate paths that can go. So it's separate or they go in different directions. This can cause some frustration. Divergers normally ask, what is it? So what is that key question, answer that we need to do between the two? That's something we're going to discuss further in the lesson. And I want you to think about this for next lesson. Right, abstract, as you can see, is lecture, paper, model building, projects, 
analogies. Now you can look at this in every way you think and think of another idea maybe it can fit in with you and bring it into the lesson. So if we look now at the reflective observation and the abstract conceptualization, these people are normally called assimilators. And assimilators are people that learn and understand information or lots of observed or incorporated within that information. So assimilators ask this question, what does it mean? And again, I want you to think about that and we'll discuss further in the lesson. Active experimentation, simulation, case studies, laboratories, field work, projects, homework, all these things give them the active side of things. You may think of another one and come back and talk to us about that. So abstract and active people, we've looked at these together, these clusters converges. Converging obviously means meet or join together and we try and plan everything and put everything together gives us the two together. Converges asks this, what can I do? And that's the key question, what can they do to support in their learning cycle? And again, bring your answer to the lesson. Leaving us active and concrete. If we look at these two together, the accommodators, these are people that adapt and adjust, adjust to things very well. And their question is, Accommodators ask, how can I do it? How can you do this to make things work really well? Again, bring your answer to the lesson. So to summarise Kolb's learning cycle, we've been through each of the stages. We need to think about it. Again, this is only petals, so I don't want to go too in depth. But think about the key areas of what we're talking about. The concrete, the reflect, the abstract, the active... And we've also spoken about these areas, how they mix between the key four areas. But just to also touch on how we think about things, how we do things, perception and processing. And I will see you all in next week's lesson. Thank you very much. This is Kevin Hutchinson. All done, Dusted. Thank you.